Today's story is called Whistle for Willie. There's a picture of Willie on the front of the book and his master, Peter. So Willie is the Dotson or Dotson wiener dog and Peter, the little boy who is trying to whistle for Willie is right there on the front of the book. It was written by Ezra Jack Keats way back in 1964. Uh, Ezra Jack Keats was a famous American children's storyteller. He wrote uh, many, many stories for kids back then, and he uh, drew the pictures too. He even won an award in 1963 for his story called The Snowy Day, and Peter was in that story too. Um, anyway, um, he won a, an award for his pictures there. So when you uh, hear the story today and look at the pictures, pay attention to um, just what does Peter do in a typical day of a little boy and... How does he solve his problem? So I hope you enjoy the book. Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keats Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around and around and around and whirled and went faster and faster and faster around the stoplight. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Peter saw his dog, Willie, coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought? Willie would stop look all around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Peter got out of the carton, the box, and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket. And he drew a long, long line. Right up to his door. He stood there. He tried to whistle again. He blew until his cheeks were tired. But nothing happened. He went into his house, he put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still, no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter around? His mother answered, Why, no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for him, said Peter. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk.
Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the box was, and who should he see but Willie? Peter scrambled under the carton, the box. He blew and blew and blew. And suddenly, out came a real whistle. <whistles> Willie stopped. He looked around to see who it was. It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store for her. He whistled all the way there and he whistled all the way home. Well, I like this uh, story for many reasons. First of all, um, I like it for its pictures. Uh, Ezra Jack Keats did a great job with the pictures. He um, especially thrilled me with this picture here of Peter looking in a mirror, trying to whistle, uh, wearing his father's hat. Um, I like this uh, story because it's um, about whistling and I like to whistle. Now, I don't have a dog, I have a cat, and I can whistle all day long and my cat's not going to come. She doesn't pay any attention to my whistles. But she does pay attention when she's in the backyard <clears throat> to the whistles of the birds in the trees. Now, listen closely. You might hear some birds. Anyway, oh, there's one. I'm going to um, pretend that I'm a song sparrow, and I'm going to whistle like a song sparrow. I think I'll whistle like a, a cardinal, one of those red birds. I think I'll whistle like the Marilyn Monroe bird that lives in the Amazon jungle. I think I'll whistle like um, the chickadee, the little chickadee bird. Anyway, yep, I like to whistle. Sometimes people whistle when they're just plain happy. Lots of happy things have been happening to them, so they whistle like this. Anyway, I hope you liked the story and the whistling and the pictures. See you later.